Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Tuan, and today I'm gonna be breaking down this sample. So today we're gonna be deconstructing a sample from my latest sample library called Genesis. It's completely free to download. Link will be in the description. Go download it. This loop is called Cold Hearted, and I really thought it was a great example of like a Q Beats Palace Des Wright type of like dark vintage sample. So I wanted to kind of bring you into the creative process, show you guys how I made it. So first I went into this plastic ghost piano contact and I picked this Twin Peaks preset and I laid this very, very simple chord. So it's literally just a G minor triad. And I added this A up top right here just because I like the sound of it. And I copied and pasted, but in the second chord, I pitched one octave down the A. I added no effects. Then I got this Coop the Truth one shot. And I thought it kind of fit with the whole vibe, so. So yeah, in the second one right here, I pitched lower. Then from the same kit, I found this other cool one shot. And so what I did, I have this one pitched normally and I have this one reversed and pitched up 700 cents. And here's what it sounds like. Then next I wanted to add some vocals. So I found this cool dude clay vocal loop that I ended up pitching and keeping this half, well really this like last bar. So yeah, and you can barely hear it, but it adds a cool texture. Then I got this vocal from Splice that I ended up reversing and pitching down. And I also added some effects. I added this little altar boy turning down the foreman. I added a bandpass narrow EQ. And then I added a Valhalla room where I turned the mix down to like 35%. So everything together so far. I thought that gave it a cool vibe but for the B section, I knew I wanted to add another vocal. So I got this other vocal from Splice. And then I got this other one. That I ended up chopping together to make this cool pattern. So to that, I added a shaper box with a panning automation going from left to right. And I also had an EQ cutting some highs out. Then I found this cool accent from, I'm pretty sure, an XY nothing kit. And it was basically this texture that I ended up pitching up one octave. And I added this bandpass narrow EQ to get rid of some of the highs and some of the lows. And basically what I did, I had the first one, one octave above and just normal. And I have the second one right here reversed and one octave below. So it kind of gave that cool effect. I'm gonna play it solo. So with the full sample. I got this other whistle one shot that I added just on the one just as a cool texture. A percussion loop from an XY nothing kit. I added a bandpass narrow EQ to it. And finally from the same XY nothing kit, I got this Kalimba phrase. So I thought that was tough, but I added this EQ to get rid of some of the highs. There was a lot of noise in the original sample. And I got this good Hertz wow control, just adding in a bit of detune and coloring. And basically this is the full sample before I bounced it out. So yeah, that's everything that I bounced the full sample as a one. And then I added some like master effects to it. I added this pre-child compressor just to kind of level all the sounds together. Next, I added this good Hertz wow control, this time adding some coloring and a tiny bit of detune. And finally this J37 with a metallic drum loop preset where I turned the mix down to 10 percent so you didn't actually see because i had it on this whole time but i added a pitch wheel to the master so this is what it sounded like with no pitch wheel <laughs> So this is what I made the sample sound like basically. Then I added pitch wheel on a master and I brought it down four semitones.
So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to download my latest sample library, Genesis, it's for free to download. Link will be in the description as well. Run up my IG, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.